300 millimeters per second printing speed. The x-axis have an acceleration of 5000 millimeters per second square. For the y-axis, 4000 millimeters per second square. Well, if this sounds like lightning, well, get struck by GTEC Thunder. A closer look on Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. Well, we have a brand new 3D printer that is going to hit the Kickstarter market any soon. Well, I already mentioned the brand GTEC. GTEC is going to hit the market with the Kickstarter campaign 3D printer, the Thunder. Surprise, surprise, GTEC is going to, you know, follow the hype because every major brand is using Kickstarter to get some popularity for a brand new 3D printer. Well, you know, let's make a normal thing about it and let's check out on this 3D printer. So here it is, the special website from the GTEC Thunder. One step faster. Well, they don't talk about one step faster as in the steps from your stepper motor, but they want to put a 3D printer on the market that is way faster as a standard than other printers. 300 millimeters per second and saving you 30 to 70 percent of your printing time. So this is the website. Sign up for the GTEC Thunder bonus. Do you get a Thunder bonus or you will get a notification sooner? So this is going to be a Kickstarter campaign and the early bird is 399 US dollars. If I would say this already, I would say something like this is going to be something that is going to be a little bit more competing with the Creality Ender 3 S1 or S1 Pro. It's 399 US dollars, an all metal body, a close loop control, so a large printing volume while 250 times 250 times 260 millimeters. I think it's a bigger size than a normal 3D printer in this kind of model. So that is great. A strong model adhesion, new generation hotbed. I am curious which kind of hotbed that they are using. Can we check from the picture? Not really. The plate is blue. It could be anything at this moment. Fast printing speed up to 300 millimeters per second. That is something that they use for the marketing campaign. Efficient cooling, five cooling fans, five. Okay, so from the basic printers that I have seen, one on the power supply, one for the controller boards, one for the hot end, one for the parts cooling. I think they have added another one for the parts cooling because higher printing speeds, you want to have some very concentrated air flowing to one part so that you can reach higher printing speeds. Humanization designs. So the XY uh, axis belt for quick adjustments for so you have belt tensioners for the x and for the y axis that is a very neat feature multi printing modes oh that sounds great does that mean that inside of the printer menu not in the slicer but in the printing menu you have already some pre settings that you can you know go to from slow to a little bit more faster or you know draft or fast printing speed or maybe ludicrous for a 3d printer that would be nice or uh, well staying inside of the thunder team maybe lightning speed it does remind me of somebody in the 3d printing community and of course this is very i think in my opinion i think that this is very necessary if you have higher printing speed a dual drive is standard or else you you are not going to reach the 300 millimeters per second printing speed high speed 3d printing to print faster well i already mentioned in the intro 300 millimeters per second printing speed well i think that the, that is great the same model and same printing quality you can save 30 till 70 percent printing time so a normal banshee how long would it take to print a normal banshee in my opinion on many of the printers under an hour you can have printed a 3d banshee and it is looking nice but they say like 73 minutes and they can print it in 21 minutes so hey that is nice the x-axis professional damping structure okay so if you are going for higher printing speeds one thing that you always will see on prints when you are going to accelerate when you are going to push the printer to the limit is ringing you will see from the timing belt the, the little vibrations and also seeing it on over your whole print and 
it is not looking nice. So for the Y axis, they have a dampening structure built in, a dampening system. Print bed is always one crucial thing when it comes to printing speeds. So they did a, a very nice job. So I was talking about that they were using five fans, but they are using on the backside, they are using two fans. So heat dissipation is one of the bottlenecks in high speed printing. GTEC Thunder designed two high volume heat dissipation fans on the hot end. I don't know what to say. This really sounds great. This is a beast. They use a dual Z axis lead screw system with no timing belt in between. So no synchronization. Hey, that's okay. But they have those backlash nuts in between so it will be very sturdy both the x and y axis of the gtec thunder are equipped with closed loop drive compared with the open loop drive when using the same stepper motor closed loop drive can produce a greater torque faster response and the printed model is not easy to dislocate like mentioned a dual drive gear extruder that is very normal very standard on this kind of high speed printing printers high speed print high speed print high speed high speed 3d printers yeah high speed yeah okay i'm not going to repeat it again that, that costs a lot of time you don't want to have that to go with high speed printing gtech upgrades several aspects of thunder extrusion system the high power heating module up to 70 watt power avoiding clogging hmm, large volume nozzle no lack filament okay so that one the last one is great because your hot end needs to be adjusted when you are going for higher printing speeds your hot end should be upgraded so that your nozzle can get this high volume so that it push out the right amount of filament and that you don't get any clocks every single time for the dual z axis system they have also a separate limit switch sensor so every single time and i also have it on the viper when the whole x axis is coming down over the z axis then the the end stops on both sides will trigger the, I think that this is also a optic sensor. So it will come down and then that way it will keep your Z axis level. High printing accuracy. They are going to give you the possibility if you are going to print with this 3D printer at higher printing speeds that you still get amazing models without any compromise. You know, I've got a high speed printer, but you know, the models look like shit. So I do need to bring down the speed a little bit more so that I still have some nice models. Large printing volume, bigger platform for your creation. Well, 250, 250 turns to 60. So that's nice. A LCD color touchscreen that looks nice, but they don't say anything about it. But hey, let's fill in the blanks. You have an LCD touchscreen. I think that this is a 4.3 inch on the portrait mode. Also, I think I see a normal USB type A connector for I think your thumb drive, a USB B connector for uh, connecting the printer to a computer and also a micro SD card slot. So I would guess there is a 32 bit board inside of this 3D printer. So this is from the Facebook group of the Thunder. So the nozzle, nozzle maximum temperature 250 degrees, heated bed maximum is 110 degrees. You can print PLA, PETG, TPU and ABS if you didn't guess it already. Maximum printing speed, we already mentioned that several times the cpu is an rem cortex m4 chip 168 megahertz so this is a 32-bit board a 3.5 inch color touchscreen you have a white led light for your for your print head so you can see why that is printing silent drivers well for the z1 and z2 motor control silent drive but i, don't, I hope the printer is not very noisy but hey Default modes, slow mode, normal mode, fast mode. I said ludicrous, they call it here crazy mode. <laughs> and also a user mode, ludicrous, crazy mode. I was so close. I, I didn't see this one until now. So there is a power supply of 350 watts in it. But if you thought that was it, well, if you see this here, lure more, they will mean learn more. You will go to 
a GTEC wiki, especially for the Thunder 3D printer with every information that you need. Notice there are some other things, QR configuration file, you can get them just right off the wiki. So that is very nice. The printer is not on Kickstarter yet, but you have already enough of information. And I think that that is really nice. Also here, a fender slicing key and parameters and settings. So if you are switching different diameter nozzles, they also say what you should change. This is very well done. I mean, there are not so much well-documented things before the printers even on Kickstarter. I will put the links in the description of this video so that you can check out for yourself all the information which I maybe didn't cover or maybe you wanna check it out for yourself and subscribe for the Kickstarter campaign before it hits. If you're still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. Did you know that this YouTube channel has also YouTube channel memberships? There are several tiers that you can choose from where you can support me on monthly base. If you don't want to do that and just support me one time, there's a thanks button under this video right over there. If you don't want to spend any money on this channel at all, there are some, several other ways to support this kind of video and this channel by, you know, liking the video and subscribe to the channel. That's it. More you don't have to do. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to share this video on social media and we will see each other next time. Peace. Bye-bye.